Hey, what's going on guys? It's Willie Stickley here, and today we are going to talk about the Weeble S. Yes. Shoo! It's Bodie. Shoo! It's a little Bodie. Got my head in the clouds and my feet on another planet I've been there so many times, sounds I can't even I'm understand ready. it This week I'll be after Marsha, the week after, after Janet The week after, after, <laughs> I can't even plan it Man, I worked a hundred jobs, my work a hundred more a I've walked a thousand miles until I'm back up at my door Alright, so why did I choose the Weeble S and why would you want a gimbal in the first place? You want a gimbal so that way you can get smooth cinematic shots like this It's impossible to get footage like that while running handheld, even if you're in slow motion at 120 or 60 frames per second, slow down to 24, it'll still look shaky and you can't really get rid of those movements unless you have a steady cam or a gimbal. That's why a gimbal comes in so handy. Now, why did I choose something like the Weeble S versus something like the Ronin SC, which is priced very similarly? My reasoning is I had a bad experience with DJI. I had the Ronin S, and it was a good gimbal. It was just too much, if that makes sense. It, it, I didn't need the load capacity, it was super heavy, and one thing that really bothered me was that it doesn't have locks like this gimbal does, so whenever I would be carrying it around, if I unlock all the axes, it would swing around like this, whenever I carried around in my backpack. That's awful. It will get damaged. I had little kids try and pour water on my gimbal and all that. That did nothing compared to just the scratches and damages of just having a bump around. Having a lock like this is huge. Another reason I went for the Weevil S is that it can support my Nikon Z6 and 24-70 lens setup. It's a strong gimbal and a small form factor. And that is exactly what I was looking for. Another reason I went with Zion or Zion or however you really want to pronounce it is that I've used their gimbals in the past. I was, you can see videos of me with a pop up on screen where I was using the original crane, the Zion Crane 1 on my D750. So I've worked with products from Zion for a long time and they haven't let me down. DJI has in the past and I don't think they're worthy of a second chance. They make great drones, don't get me wrong. When it comes to gimbals, the, the S was too much. I'm not carrying a cinema camera, I'm just carrying a Z6, a mirrorless hybrid camera. I do not need that much. This does exactly what I want and then some. Now that you've heard all the great things about the Weeble S, why don't we go outside and actually test it, get some footage. All right, see you guys outside. stuff about like using gimbal is all great and awesome if you want to get smooth shots but why are smooth shots important you don't always need a smooth shot you can work handheld and that can get the vibe you want if you're shooting like i don't know something fast paced action workout videos basketball football i would recommend if you're just doing Stuff like that, increase your shutter speed, get some nice, sharp, crispy movement, and run it handheld. It'll give you the vibe you want, for, I feel. Unless you don't want that vibe, then maybe a gimbal is the choice for you. But why I think a gimbal is needed in everyone's kit is the option to get smooth video. That option opens up a world of possibilities. Now, one of those, which I'm gonna show you guys today, is motion tracking. 
Just willy things. You realize your video is completely out of focus because you said it's a manual focus. Now, what is motion tracking? Motion tracking is the process in which you take the movement of your camera that you have in real space and it will convert that into 3D points on, uh, uh, in a 3D grid in which you can assign things to it such as objects or text and various different things, even adjustment layers. Ooh, adjustment layers, that's a new thought. You're gonna see something like that. But you can, with motion tracking, insert 3D objects that weren't in the scene into the scene using something like Element 3D in After Effects and using the 3D motion camera in After Effects. I hope you guys liked today's video. It was something different, a little less cinematic video, and a little bit more on the gear. If you guys are interested in stuff like this, I can do more gear talk, more gear reviews of things. This is just a light, light usage of like why you would want a gimbal. I'm not trying to convince you to buy the Weeble S in particular, though it's a great gimbal. I'm here to tell you why you should get a gimbal or why you would want a gimbal. I'm not trying to convince you, though my affiliate link is. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for coming out, watching today's video, and hopefully you learned something. See you guys in the next one. Peace.